what is happening now is an attempt to take over the United States of America by using the World Health Organization as a front organization for that purpose. This is being backed by the Center for Disease Control, Bill Gates, the Chinese Communist dictatorship, Big Pharma, and the biowarfare industry. Uh, there has been so much opposition to the diktats coming out of Washington, D.C. over the handling of the pandemic that these elites have decided to go to the WHO and blue wash it through the WHO and use the WHO as a front organization to accomplish its objectives. There are three different complicated uh, uh, legal documents involved here, all of which I've read and analyzed. The first, a, uh, a proposed WHO treaty that will set up a brand new uh, international organization with powers to issue orders, legally binding orders, all the way down from this new organization to your primary care physician. They will be issuing orders to your doctors how to mistreat you. And as you've seen in the pandemic, this will not be in your best interest at all. Uh, the treaty has been deliberately drafted for the purpose of circumventing and undermining and contravening the power of the Senate, the U.S. Senate, to give its advice and consent to the treaty. It will automatically come into effect immediately upon its signature. I've studied uh, uh, international organizations and treaties going back to the uh, first Hague Peace Conference of 1899. I know of no such treaty uh, in existence today that would do this. So it will immediately come into effect and you will have a medical global police state issuing orders all the way down here in the United States, contravening state, local health authorities, your governor, uh, your uh, uh, local attorney general, your local uh, surgeon general, and contravening all your democratically elected officials to accomplish this, this objective. The second document, are uh, amendments to the International Health Regulations of 2005. They will accomplish the exact same thing uh, uh, by another means and will give this totalitarian dictatorial powers to Dr. Tedros. Let me repeat that. Dr. Tedros, whom we know works in cahoots with the Chinese Communist government that is in part behind this with Bill Gates, Big Pharma, the biowarfare industry, and our own Center for uh, Disease Control. Uh, Tony Fauci is involved. President Trump correctly pulled the United States of America out of the WHO, but there had to be six months notice. Biden was elected. He rescinded the pullout and appointed Tony Fauci as the U.S. representative on the executive committee of the WHO. If you have any doubts about the criminality of Tony Fauci, I would encourage you to read uh, Bobby Kennedy uh, Jr.'s uh, book uh, on the real uh, Tony Fauci. This man's a criminal. Uh, he should be put in jail. But that is what is going to happen under these IHR regulations they will accomplish the same thing uh, as the treaty, only by a different uh, uh, U.S. constitutional uh, mechanism. It will not require the advice and consent of two-thirds of the Senate. Uh, as you know, Senator uh, Johnson recently introduced legislation in the Senate saying that uh, any uh, treaty should receive the advice and consent of the Senate. That's not going to do the trick. I, I, with all due respect to Senator Johnson and his colleagues, if you read these documents, that will not do the trick. What is only going to do the trick here 
is the uh, recent legislation introduced by Congressman Biggs to immediately terminate U.S. membership uh, in the WHO, immediately to cut off all funding uh, for the WHO, and to terminate uh, the uh, WHO Act here in the United States of America. Now, the third document is even more pernicious, insidious, and nefarious. And that was sneaked through the Congress at the last minute that under the control of the Biden administration, the Democrats, in the National Defense Authorization Act, which is quite extensive. But if you go through the National Defense Authorization Act, you will find something called the Global Pandemic Prevention and Biosecurity Act of 2022 which I read, it was just enacted, just sneaked through. What this does is that it is a congressional statute that paves the way for the amendments to the international health regulations and for this treaty, so that in advance, the United States Congress has already given its authorization to both the health regulations and the treaty. The health regulations will come up for sure in May of 2023. The treaty is projected to come up in 2024, but my reading of the treaty is that it could be ready to go also at the meeting of the World Health Assembly in 2023. They will get two bites of the apple. Either they will get the amendments or they will get the treaty, or they will get both. And both of them have already been approved by the Global Pandemic Prevention and Biosecurity Act of 2022, just snuck through Congress in the dead of night. No one bothers to read the National Defense Organization Act. I did, I tracked down this section, but that was that. That's my job, okay? Uh, and so a trap has been set for us for the American people, for the American Constitution. This is a coup d'etat against our Constitution, against the 10th Amendment, against the 6th uh, 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 Amendment, against the uh, ability of Congress to give advice and consent. So again, the only alternative we have here now, and, and I'm just speaking as, as a fellow American citizen, uh, and a longtime lawyer. The only alternative we have is the United States government must pull out immediately from the World Health Organization before uh, these two documents come up uh, in, in May and must terminate all funding immediately. Uh, the, the WHO right now is using funding money that we can, we are giving it today to end our republic, to end our democracy, and to justify the lives, health, safety, and well-being of all American citizens. And that is precisely why I am appearing here today uh, at, at this conference to alert you all. My advice right now is that everyone mobilizes behind this uh, legislation by P Congressman Biggs. It's exactly what we not want now. And by the way, the Republicans are now in control of the House. Under the Constitution, they control the budget. They can pretty much do what they want to do. And you had better contact Speaker of the House McCarthy and tell him he better get on this immediately and stop this before May. Otherwise, we are all going to be living under a World uh, Health Organization medical dictatorship under the control of Dr. Uh, Tedros, uh, Bill Gates, the Chinese communist dictatorship, the CDC, and Tony Fauci.